friends, whatever key I press, it will display it here. First of all we will change the view mode to top. Then insert the reference image. You can download it from below link. We align it to center. Then go to the properties. We will change the depth to the front, uncheck the perspective and reduce the opacity. We will select the image, and move it on the z-axis. Then we press shift A, and add a cylinder. Change its vertex to 50. Then press tab to move to the edit menu. Now we press GZ, to move it on the z-axis. We will enable the x-ray mode. Then we use the move and scale, so that it matches with the reference. Now we will add loop cuts, then adjusting the scale. You can add different loop cuts to get the right shape as I am doing. As you can see, I am using Ctrl R for loop cuts, S for scaling, G for moving, these are the basic shortcuts you need to know. If you find this video useful then please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And follow us on Twitter. Once you get the right shape, hide the reference image. We will go to the modifiers menu, then add the subdivision surface modifier. Here we change the level view and render value, to 3. Now we will go to edit mode, then we sharpen the edge by adding the loop cuts. Lamp base is ready, let's make the rod. We'll add the cylinder again. And scale it down. Then scale it on the Z axis. Select the bottom vertices, and we will extrude it by pressing EZ. Now add a loop cut, and move it all the way down. Then select the faces, and scale it on the XY axis. The rod is ready, let's make the upper part. We will add the cylinder again. Then move it on the z-axis, and scale it down. Then scale it on the x-axis. In edit mode, select the upper face, and insert it by pressing I. Again insert it a bit, and move it down. We will do the same thing on the bottom face. The table lamp is ready, let's smooth it, select the rod. Right click and click shade smooth, then go to the object data properties, then normal, and check the auto smooth. Now select the upper part, and shade smooth it, then check auto smooth. Now we will save the project, go to file menu, then click on save. Type the title, or press plus sign for increment, and click on save. Our today topic is complete. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask us on Twitter. We will meet on next tutorial, and be happy.